Okay, today we are looking at uh, creating the Google account first, uh, Google Cloud to use the Google AI services. Um, and we'll run a sam example Jupyter Notebook uh, for face recognition using Google Cloud API. So a little bit noisy here. Um, the audio is uh, optional. Okay, uh, you can consider to switch off if uh, you find it too noisy. Okay, first thing first, we need to have a Google uh, Cloud platform uh, account, and we need a Google account first. So let's start a browser. Start a browser. Okay. Create a Google account. Google Cloud. Okay. I click sign in. Sign in. You need to have a Gmail account. Sign first. Okay, we go to the council. Council. So this is a new Gmail account. <laughs> so API will have a project here. We already have a project here. Let's have a look at the billing. Is there any billing? Link a billing account. Link a billing account. Create a billing account. Okay, we cancel it first. Uh, in the, we create a new project. The project's name is uh, ISS. Uh, it cannot be changed later. ISS. Okay, let's go there. Go to this project, IPA. Yeah, let's have a look at billing. Link. Do we need to link a billing account? Let's see if we need it. Um, okay, uh, next let's let's clone the repository. So, you can do it. Uh, Now we go to the virtual machine. Where would you like to store it? Uh, say you want to store it in intelligent process automation here. Uh, right click, on the terminal, hit clone. Basically, you will see this uh, downloading. Downloading. Okay, it's created. Let's uh, LL list it. Here is a Jupyter notebook. We can start a Jupyter notebook here. Um, but first thing, we uh, go to a Python environment. So, source, add, debate. ISS and Python environment. Now we are in this environment. ISS and Python 3. Next is we actually with Jupyter Notebook. Jupyter Notebook. 
to start a Jovian notebook in Python 3 uh, at this particular folder called in IS Intelligent Process Automation, the IS Intelligent Process Automation. It's starting. Let's go inside to have a look at the Jovian notebook uh, AI uh, code first. Then we see if we have any error, then we fix the error. Basically, to enable the uh, API call functionalities in the Google Cloud. Okay, we're starting. Okay, we'll see right here. So we go to bit log. Uh, we follow this guy. It was saying that uh, we use this one. Uh, WeChat vlog. We chat to Python 3 local. Lesson 2. Lesson 2. Lesson 2. This one. Lesson 2. Oh, this is uh, face recognition. Face recognition. Okay. Uh, lesson 2. Let's do this. We clone it. I will duplicate it. Make it back up. This is my habit. Uh, then this is the one. <laughs> Shift insert to run it. Shift insert to run it. Recognition. Enable API. Let's see. Enable the following API. Finally, because we are calling the API, blah blah blah. Um, installed, installed. So this one we should have installed. So uh, we move on. It need the Google Cloud API. Install the client library. Google Cloud Vision. Install the Google Cloud Vision. Successfully build. Okay, here come on. Seems okay. Seems okay. Running. It so blah blah blah. It's done. Successful install. Okay. So, seems okay. Okay, here is the place. Proceed to enable this API via web console. Okay, we need to enable the which API? API name is this Google Cloud Vision API. Vision API. We can actually do it here. Um, yeah, we know why not we just do it here. I oh, think we have already logged on, so we use the one outside. API and the services dashboard. API and the services dashboard. Enable API and the services. Search API. Vision. Okay, a vision API. Overview vision API. Enable. Let's say we enable this API. By enabling this API. Seems so working, eh? very good. It's working. Then we need some credentials. Credentials. Um, some key is required. So from service account JSON. So we need to create that JSON API. Okay, uh, JSON API. That's in under the credentials. Uh, Service account. Yeah, we need a service account. Remember to configure the 
Application name, um, we can leave it first. Create a credential, create a service account key. API key using a service account. Need a service account, new service account, JSON format, yes, service account. Name, we call it ISS IPA. So that a role project owner who access to all resources. Roles. Roles. Run the service account role based on access to the project okay, owner who access to all resources. Okay, done yet. Yeah. Project owner. And JSON and create. Right, and create. Now we need a account key. Okay, ask us to save it. Save file. Okay, we need to save this file. Okay. Private key save to this. Okay. And now it's done. This is the ID. Firefox. Firefox. You see the download. You see the download folder. You need to move this download folder. Um, let me copy it. A copy to a share folder which can be accessed by my by my virtual machine, yeah, it's here. Let's say I'm going to create a new folder or GCP, GCP keys. Okay, this is a GCP key, GCP key. Okay, uh, in here we will be able to see it from here. TCP key, uh, this is a one. This is a one. Say open the terminal. Um, let's find what is the location of it. This is the absolute location. We copy the path. Change it. Command V. Uh, control V, control V. The name is um, the name is this JSON file. Okay, running. See if it's working. Seems working. Okay. Label detection. So use Cloud API. Need label detection. So we define a label detection. Okay, we see there is an image here. Uh, this is image stored in image issgz or png. Gonna find this is image that. Uh, Here, image. There must be a good ISS GDP. So, this is the image. This is the image. This is the image. Then we move on. Uh, so, we do a label detection. So, this is the expected result. Let's see if we have the expected result. Oh, it has some error. Let's see what's the error here. Permission denied. 
Permission deny. Permission deny. Permission. ESM may require billing to be enabled. Okay, we need to enable the billing. Okay, let's try this and just click this. Open and enable the billing. Okay, let's do it. Okay, let's go. Let's do this. Let's log off here. Let's first log out. To be safe, we log out here. Oh, yeah. Also close this one. We close the Firefox. Close the Firefox. And then we are in the virtual machine. We move on. It says we need to enable a billing. Yeah, enable a billing. Enable billing? Yes, create a billing account. Let's see what we need to do in order to create a billing. Access blah blah three hundred dollar for free. Why not? No, I think it will get three hundred dollar in the over next. Week. Yes, we get agree and continue. We want to get three hundred dollars. Yeah. Once you sign on, you get a free voucher worth of three hundred US dollar. Okay. Key in the business name, which is called ISS in US. The name is Telescope. Car detail. Okay, here I need to key the car detail. Um, start my free trial. Okay, a few things need to key in. Huh? So my address is let's find ISS address. ISS USA address. Okay, we got it. This is our address. Control V. Okay. Uh, post code. Okay. Here I need to pause for a while because I need to key in my credit card account number. I will pause the video for a while, and for you, just key in yours, and you will resume later. Uh, will resume after I start the free trial. Uh, okay, cardholder name is not this name, it's my own name, which is credit card. Credit card. Okay, I'll pause the video for you.